Hi everyone, my name is Maria and welcome to Propeller Ads. Today we have a very special content for you. This is an interview with a professional media buyer and a founder of the Social Sense project, Dehan Domingos. Hi Dehan, could you tell us a couple of words about yourself, please? Yes, thank you for the introduction, Masha. Hello everyone, my name is Dehan. I was born in the Netherlands and that's still where I spend most of my time. Um, I have a meeting buying agency and we help advertisers increase their sales and leads on affiliate base. And we are doing this since about three years now. How did you become a media buyer? That's a nice question. In 2018, I, um, I was working for a Facebook project, but I really felt the urge to start make money online. I already had some friends, they were making some money online. I was thinking, I want to have that too. Uh, so I had some knowledge about the Facebook marketing and then I decided to start a Facebook, uh, Facebook advertising agency. I started to reach out to small and medium enterprises here in the Netherlands and uh, proposed to do their Facebook advertising for them. And after that, doing that for a while, I realized that, okay, this business model doesn't allow me to live the lifestyle that I wanted to live. Plus, I was not really getting the satisfaction out of the job. And then I started to looking for other ways for using this skill and making money online. I started watching YouTube videos, watching on forums. And yeah, then I found out about affiliate marketing. When I was working for other enterprises doing their advertising, I felt like I was very dependent on them and I wanted to gain more independence also in the way of, um, the way of spending your time, but also in the way of being more free to do whatever you want. And, um, yeah, this was for me a big plus about affiliate marketing that you have fully control about what you're doing. Can you really make money with affiliate marketing and media buying? So I think it's quite obvious because look at you guys, Propeller had so many big companies in the affiliate space that um, I think it's obvious that it's an industry where uh, the potential is huge. I always say sky is the limit. Um, there are many proven strategies that you can use, but I think you also need to think a little bit outside of the box to to really make it work and yeah, to find your own path, your own way. Do you need money to become a media buyer? You can actually start with a small budget. It's not required to have huge amounts of money to have a loaded bank account um, because yeah, you can get some results with a low budget. Uh, I even started with a hundred dollars on propeller ads for the first time. This was my first top up and I started testing some things. And, um, then when I got some data, I, I realized, okay, now I can, based on the data that I have, make some new decisions and see if I can improve some things and, um, you can try to make it work with, with, a, with a small budget. It's definitely possible. Can you describe your normal working day? To be a media buyer for me, I really like it. Sometimes uh, spending a lot of time behind the computer, it gets me really tired. So I need to do some exercises to stay focused. But I really like to uh, do media buying. And that's why usually I start my days in the morning with an exercise. So the rest of the day, I'm like focused on uh, on my work. Then when I get to the office, I check the results from the previous day, see if there are opportunities, things that we need to change, things that we need to optimize. Then we get in touch with the advertisers and the networks and see what's new, if, if there's anything that we can, we can run or change. Um, and we're constantly busy like preparing new campaigns, um, discussing the results with the other media buyers and uh, yeah, preparing new campaigns that we can launch. Yeah, we, we are pretty busy, but we like to play a, a pool in between. We have a pool table in the office and I think it's important to yeah, also relax a bit and have fun because in a job where you're using a lot of the computer, you need to get loose a bit and and 
and keep it a bit, uh, how do you say, keep it a bit fun. What's the best way to do media buying? Solo, in a team, or in a CPA network? Yes, I don't think there's a best way. I think uh, it has to do, of course, also with the, the personal uh, the preferences of people. But I also started out as a solo media buyer. And once you start growing, you notice that, yeah, it can be nice to have some help. And also, when, if you are alone and you achieve some goals and you celebrate them alone, you notice it's not as fun. And like I said, you need to keep things fun. <laughs> so it's good. It's good to get people on board. And um, so you can celebrate the achievements together and, and have a common goal that you're working together with. And it really creates like a, yeah, a good atmosphere and a family vibe. I would say that it's definitely beneficial to work in a team. Uh, maybe there are a lot of uh, solo uh, media buyers that... They, they outsource some, um, certain projects or certain tasks that they don't do themselves. Um, but I think it's not the same as when you really have a team and you have that, that spirit, like, let's do this together. One time we were sitting in the office and we were, we, we had this campaign and we thought, okay, let's try this. But we, we think this is never going to work. This is never going to work, but let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. And uh, then we started the campaign and we saw that the green numbers we saw was working. And yeah, the, 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 the moment of joy that we had, like the moment of surprise, like no way, this is impossible. Uh, yeah, this is something really priceless. It's really nice moments. How long does it take to learn media buying or affiliate marketing? I think the, the basic concept of, of affiliate marketing, uh, this is quite easy to grasp. So like promoting someone else's products or services and you get a commission for it. I think that a lot of people would think, oh, okay, yeah, this sounds quite easy. And it is also quite easy to be honest. Um, but the actual media buying, like making the advertisements, uh, um, like planning the campaigns, planning what kind of creative you're going to use, etc., And, and the, the, the feeling of like touching the buttons, you can get within a couple of weeks, you can get like a good feeling of, oh, if I click here, I get this. If I do this, then this happens. And I think, um, yeah, in the beginning, you should just do as much as possible. Like you're in a new car, you buy a new car. Yeah, what does this button do? What does this button do? You just want to see what, what everything does. And um, I think uh, then after, if you do this, you keep touching the buttons for about one year. I think you, you'll have already some experience to, yeah, to be a good media buyer. What are the easiest verticals to get started with? So I think now in 2023, easy verticals to get started with are sweepstakes, like they have always been, mobile content like pin submits, uh, click flows, this kind of offers some dating offers as well i would definitely suggest beginners to start with offers with easy flows so you can get fast conversions so just a sign up or a click a call nothing like super um how would i say more complicated like a, a purchase where people have to perform an action that is a little bit more advanced, like a credit card submit. Go with something that you can get a lot of data fast, that a lot of people will perform fast. And that is the way to uh, learn the game quickly. Because I think in the beginning, it's super important to get some results, to see that you are getting some conversions, to stay motivated. Because a lot of people, I think even for me, it's hard to... Keep doing something if you're not seeing any results. So start with something simple that you can see some small wins and continue from there. Start, start small and then the pyramids weren't built in one day either. Just start small and keep going and you'll get there. What are your preferred traffic sources? We uh, prefer to work with traffic sources that have their own inventory 
Um, we work less with uh, sources that resell, that are only resellers. Actually, Propeller Ads is one of our favorite traffic sources because of the worldwide uh, volumes that we have access to. The quality is also good and also the selection of ad formats. Um, so, yeah, a lot of options there. And um, we work a lot with push and pop advertising. So I think uh, Propeller Ads is one of the the good options in the industry to, to start with. So it's really user-friendly. And um, Propeller Ads, I think the... The quality of the traffic is really good and you have the options to segment between different, um, how can you say? Yeah, different segments like uh, high quality, low quality, gender, male, female, etc. So you have a lot of options to play with. And uh, the fact that it's easy to scale across multiple formats, I think this is one of the, the biggest pluses for us. What ad formats do you usually work with? We actually work with all the formats on, on um, Propeller ads. I think our our yeah biggest volumes come from Push and Pop, but we see a bunch of opportunities on the other ad formats, even in smaller countries, because we also have the idea the competition is less there. So I would definitely... Um, like suggest people to try as much as possible. That's what we do. Once we have one offer working on one ad format, we try it across all ad formats and see what happens. And to be honest, most of the times we can get it to work on, on other formats as well. What do you like most about your job? I am a guy who like to play with numbers and, um, uh, this is what I do all day. I'm just checking numbers, numbers, campaigns. And um, I used to be crazy about math in high school. So yeah, this is a perfect job for me. I also like about my job that you can set goals and yeah, do everything to achieve them. Achieving new goals in, 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 this, in this kind of work gives me a lot of, uh, yeah, it gives me a lot of joy. And also being able to plan my own time, going to the conferences, meeting people in the field, like people that you haven't seen yet or people that you've been already working with for a long time and haven't met yet. This kind of things is uh, yeah, what keeps it exciting too. Thank you, Tihan, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this interview the same as I did. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to get more exclusive content. And see you soon at Propeller Rides.